What's up guys? Today we're checking out a pretty cool proof of concept, I guess you could say. It's, it's not a full game, um, but it's kind of neat to see what this could become in the future. And that is a, a Unreal Engine 4 version of Diddy Kong Racing. And if you remember, Diddy Kong Racing was from the Nintendo 64. And what you're seeing here is actually uh, just a very quick, like I said, mock-up of Unreal Engine 4 meets uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Uh, and this was done by Kryzen X. Now, this is pretty cool because it shows how well Unreal Engine 4 can adapt to something like Diddy Kong Racing, a game that myself, and I'm sure many other people who experienced uh, the Nintendo 64 are very fond of. So let's uh, let's race around here a little bit. Now, I, uh, I, I played this... Uh, I played this some, and I realized there's not a ton to do in this, so I figure this probably won't be a very long video. But let me just race around here a little bit, and as far as I can tell, there's no real support for controllers, at least when I plugged in, it didn't work right away or anything, so rather than play around with it, I figure I'll just, I'll just use the keyboard. You can just use the, the arrow keys. Up is obviously go, and you can back up just by pressing down. And uh, there were some other buttons on the keyboard that did stuff, like C, for example, changed my camera view so I can kind of see uh, Diddy. Kind of driving there, it looks pretty good. Keeps opening his mouth for some reason. <laughs> let's, let's push it up here and uh, kind of race around just very quickly. Um, there are times where I get stuck against the wall. Again, this isn't like set up to be a final product, even set up for the consumer base. It's kind of something you can load up on your computer and say, that was pretty cool. Because this is Diddy Kong Racing in Unreal Engine 4. Let's kind of race through here. They have these kind of set up up here, but of course they don't, they don't lead to anything. They just kind of go off into like the dark abyss and stop you. <laughs> so let's let's race back down here, and uh, they do have some tunnels we can go through. We can go in the water a little bit, uh, just a little bit, and then you start slowing down. we got to get back out. Uh, they have the full water effects. They have, like, the rainbow, the lighting effects from Unreal Engine. Um, and they have a tunnel up here. I assume the tunnel is there to kind of show off lighting effects and changes and stuff in lighting. So let's go through here. You get the little sound effect kind of where it's, or it's a little more hollow and it's kind of echoey. Got a little door there again. <laughs> Uh, uh. And of course, there we go, this has uh, everyone clamoring now for Unreal Engine 4 Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> uh, how likely is that to happen? I don't know. Now, I will say this. Uh, Japanese developers are obviously becoming much more interested in Unreal Engine. They're using it for a lot of games. But there's not, like, like, Nintendo hasn't really gone all in with it. They're using Unreal Engine 4 for the Yoshi's game that's coming out that looked pretty cool, the side-scrolling Yoshi, which I assume is one of the, the locks to see at the Nintendo Direct that, that's happening in a bit. Um, I think we all pretty much know that'll be there, and, and Kirby will be there since they've already been announced, and we just need more information on it, like when it's coming out, um, things like that. I think Yoshi will probably come out before... Kirby. I mean, we know at this point that something like Yoshi is built on Unreal Engine 4. And I, I think that is helpful because you don't have to design your own engine. I, I like the way that kind of the trees are set up here. They have like birds everywhere and animals and insects and everything. So it has a lot going on. Uh, the grass and foliage looks pretty good. It, it's obviously it's uh, 3D and everything. So it's not like a flat ground. Uh, so it has like the tessellation effect. And he just kind of wanders, he doesn't really do anything, he just kind of wanders around. He does kind of interact with me, like I don't go straight through him. I kind of bump him. <laughs> uh, no real, there's not like a lot of, in terms of physics or anything that's that's here. As you see when I run in him, I just pretty much stop, dead stop. So, <laughs> nothing there. But this is really cool for one person to just kind of develop, just for fun. Just to show, hey, this is what Unreal Engine 4 could do. For something like a Diddy Kong Racing, right? Um, and and I, I like so far what I'm seeing here. And I think this would be pretty cool if Nintendo decided to pursue this. Uh, I, I think this could be neat. I don't I don't think uh, I don't think Cries Cries X is gonna pursue this and turn this into a full game. So don't really get your hopes up for that. But I put it up on Twitter. People seemed really interested in the quick uh, quick little clip that I posted. So I figured I'd explain what it was show you guys on YouTube, um, just in case you're curious, because it's, it's kind of fun, and you can download it yourself for free. There's a free download link, and it'll let you kind of race around here and see it for yourself while you're playing. No real controller support. I'm pretty much just using the, the, the arrow keys to race around, which isn't the easiest thing in the world, obviously. But see, we'll actually change some of your camera angles. Kind of neat. I, I have a lot of fun with it so far, but it's, it's nothing like 
that you're going to just play in for a while or anything. It's more a proof of concept. So I hope this gets picked up. I hope Nintendo decides to bring back Diddy Kong Racing and maybe use some of these more modern engines to bring it to life. So let me know what you guys think, though. This is uh, this is running on PC right now, um, and it seems to get locked at 60 frames pretty much the whole way. So it's not super graphically intensive for a decent computer, but uh, a lot of fun. Guys, let me know what you think about this down below. Would you like to see a, a revival of Diddy Kong Racing, and would you prefer them to make it on a custom engine or use something like, well, Unreal Engine 4? It seems like it adapts to pretty much any type of game now, since we're even seeing it with games that are much more JRPG or anime-like with something like Code Vein. And of course, we see it with a, with a very fast fighter with Dragon Ball Fighters, but... Very curious what your guys' thoughts on this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave the link if you want to download this yourself down in the uh, in the description, guys. I will see you next time.